We have a new version of Presto Player and it's gonna be Presto Player version three. Today we're making the beta version of it available because we want as many people as possible to try it on their website before we push it out to all 100,000 plus websites that are using Presto Player. Now this new version has five significant changes to it that I'm gonna go over in this video so that you'll feel comfortable when you install it where things might have moved and what exactly has changed. Now this version is gonna give you a glimpse into where Presto Player is headed for the future and I'll speak a little bit to that at the end of this video. So I have two sites set up right now and you can see on the top left this says old so this is gonna be the current version of Presto Player and over here you'll see the other site which says new and this is going to let you know the new way versus the old way so it'll all make sense to you. Now the first significant change is every video that you create on your website will be by default synced to the media hub so you'll have this single place, this centralized place where all your videos will be for managing them. And you can optionally opt out of this behavior when you're creating the video, but it's a huge benefit to you to have everything synced into one centralized location. So let me show you creating a new video and how you can uh, decide to not have it sync. So right here you see is our media hub and we want all videos here. So let's go ahead and create a new page and I'm going to add the Presto player block right here. And this already is looking different. If you've used Presto player recently, prior to this, we had separate blocks for each of the video service integrations. And now we just have one block. So there's fewer blocks and it makes it a lot easier just to choose the right one. So after you put the block and you click on it, you'll see this right here where it says synced. Now, if you don't want this one particular video synced, you can click on this and choose the option here that says don't sync to Media Hub. So I'm going to choose to sync it to the Media Hub. I'll choose YouTube and then it's gonna look familiar. I'll paste in a YouTube URL, click on add video. Then I'm gonna click on publish and I'm gonna click on save and then let's publish this. Great, so now the video has been added to this one particular page. But if I go back, you're going to see, I'm going to go back to the media hub that that video has been automatically added here. So this is the first major change to this upcoming version of Presto Player. And through that, you saw the second big change is we reduced the blocks from six or seven all the way down to two. So the old version of Presto Player that you have on your site right now, when you went to see the list of blocks, you can see down here we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We had nine different blocks. We've consolidated that down to just two blocks. So in the new version of Presto Player, you'll come here. Let me click on that post I just created. And then when I click on plus, you're going to see when you scroll to the bottom, we just have two blocks, one that's named Presto Player and the other one's the Presto Playlist. And that's for the playlist feature of displaying a bunch of videos together. Also, while we're here, let's go into the third thing that changed. And we no longer have the Presto Player icon for settings, special settings in the top right of the editor. So on the top right of the editor, you no longer see the Presto Player logo. Here is what it looks like going to the old site. We had this right here and you would be able to click on it and you could drag and drop a video from the media library, the media hub, I'm sorry, into your layout. But there's no need for this because that option also is integrated into the block itself. So if I go here and I click on Presto Player Video and it's going to add the option here, I can choose to create a new video or I can select some media that's already in the media hub. So when I click on this right here, I now get this option and I can just choose a video that has already been synced back 
to the media hub. Now, if you have a lot of videos in your media hub and you see it only showing a few, there's a search option here that you can start searching for the video that you want to add to this page. Now, let me show you the fourth big change and that is the experience of editing a video that you've added to your page that's in the media hub has changed a little bit. So when I click on this video, and this is a video coming in from the media hub, it's stored in the media, media hub. When you click on it, you'll notice you don't have all the options here on the right to change the settings for these videos. They're in the media hub, but what you can do is you click on the video and you'll see right here, it says edit original. And when you click on this, it takes you into a little bit of a different experience. And now you can click on the video and you have all your options here to change. Now, what happens is once you save this, it's going to affect all the instances that you've placed this specific video across your website. So it's going to make it much easier to manage the settings for these videos because they're all in this central location, the media hub. So I'll make a change right now and show you what that's like. So I will change the video preset. Let's make this the minimal preset, which just shows the play button. And then I'm gonna click on save like that. It's gonna save the video. And there's this option right here that says back. When you click on that, it's gonna take you right back into that piece of content that you're in. So what happens is it takes you to where you can edit the video settings everywhere on your site at the same time, and then right back into your content, and it's very seamless. You saw how quick that was to go back and forth. Now let me show you the fifth change. I also have a bonus change as well. Let's go ahead and go back to our settings. And when I click on Media Hub, and I click into one of these videos, say I'll click into that video that we had just created together in this video right here. So here's my video. You're gonna see a new option on the top right when you access videos directly in the Media Hub. And it says Instant Video Page. And when you click on this, you can publish this or leave it unpublished. Let me show you what this looks like. I'm gonna click on Publish, I'm gonna then publish this. And now I can click on View Media and what it's gonna do is it's going to give me a page, which we call an instant video page, and you could take the link to this and you can share it anywhere. Essentially, what this feature does is it allows you to add a new video to the Media Hub, and in, if, you, if you need to share that video quickly or conveniently, you don't have to go and then create a page on your website, put that in, and then it doesn't look great because of the way your theme is. Uh, so you have to adjust a bunch of settings and all that. No, you can just save time, create the new video inside of the Media Hub, turn on instant video pages, and you instantly have a page with the video on it that you can share on social media or wherever you want to uh, share this particular video. Now, what's nice is this is also an option to view the video, even if it's not published, but just for you. Let me show you what that's like. So if you want to just see what the video watching experience is, make sure you choose the right settings and all of that. That's what that's going to be good for. So here is, uh, let's just choose this video right here. And when I click on it, I'm going to unpublish the instant video page. Now, what you'll notice when I go back here, all of these videos inside of the Media Hub, when I hover over it, there's this option here to view. Now, when I click on view, it's going to take me to that instant video page so I can see if I like the settings and it's exactly how I want it. But what you'll notice here on the top, it has this badge that says unpublished and that's just a quick visual indicator that this is not publicly accessible. It's literally just for you for previewing this particular video. Now, let me show you one of the extra things outside of the five that I mentioned. So this would be number six. I didn't want to say six new things because six is not the best number. So the other thing is that now you can quickly and easily protect these instant video pages with most membership plugins. So 
let me explain a little bit more detail what changed in this new version of Presto Player. And essentially, and developers are going to understand this, we created a custom post type. This is the, the techie part of this video. We created a custom post type for each of the items inside of the media hub. This custom post type is going to be, is already viewable to other plugins. So for example, a membership plugin. So a membership plugin can see these videos and depending on the features of that membership plugin can secure and protect those videos. So I'll give you an example. We have a membership plugin, a sister product called Sure Members. It's a great membership plugin, very easy to use. So I just clicked on do Sure Members and I created what's called an access group. It's pretty much just a membership. And when I click into the membership that I created, here's where I can choose what content I want to protect on this website. So you have to be a member of this access group in order to be able to access this content. So when I click right here to choose the content and I scroll down, there's this option here that says Media Hub. And this will work depending on the membership plugin you're using. It should work exactly the same. You'll be able to see all of the content in the membership, uh, I'm sorry, in the Media Hub and protect it behind this particular membership. And here it is. And I can choose right here, all Media Hub. So now it's what's it gonna do is gonna protect all the items in the Media Hub. And it would, and this includes the instant video page and it's going to require membership access for that. And also the way that Shure Members works, I can go here and just choose an individual video. So let me choose the video that we had created. And here it is. Uh, I just typed the word first because I knew it started out the title of it as first look. And then when I click on it right there now, when I click here to save this access group, if someone tries to view that instant video page and and is not inside of this access group, I have it set here where they're gonna simply be redirected to a page to sign up for this access, access group. So it's gonna make it super easy to create pay-per-view type of video experiences. Now, if you're using the block editor on your site, you already could do this depending on the membership plugin that you use. So if I go to that video page that I created and here's that video with Shure members and many membership plugins, they add options to blocks inside of the block editor to protect it based upon your membership level. So I just clicked on the video and right here it says restrict this block and this is a feature that also comes inside of Shure members. But like I said, most membership plugins probably have something like this. So if I wanted the, this, the viewability of this video to be based upon an access group, I can choose the access group and now the only people that would see this video would be people inside of this access group. So it's another way of accomplishing something very similar. Now let me go back to uh, the instant video page right here that we created and talk just momentarily about where we're headed with all of this. So this new version is a near complete rewrite of how everything's done inside of Presto Player. And it's basically so we can get closer to the goals that we have and the intentions that we have for Presto Player. So in this version, you see instant video pages for single videos. It's nice, but we're also gonna be doing the same for playlists. And the idea that we have in mind for this is that for playlist, instant playlist pages, that it would have very much an online course feel and experience where in the left area of the page right here, it will feel like a video course navigation and uh, the viewer can just click through and watch their videos inside of this playlist or a video course. And then you're, you're gonna be very able to very easily protect all of that using a membership plugin such as Sure Members. So what that would allow you to do is quickly and in a very lightweight manner, create video courses that you can quickly and easily deploy on your website that will be dedicated towards the video viewer, the video watcher. And this goes back to a survey that we made about 
about a year and a half ago, asking people that create courses, how many of them just have videos in their courses and there and not much else. And I was surprised to find out that over half the people creating that we surveyed that are creating online courses, they're literally just a series of videos. And Presto Player is the best way to deliver videos on your website. So we thought, why, why don't we bring kind of a course experience into Presto Player for all of our customers that, and then make it very easily to secure those videos with any membership plugin. So that's kind of the direction that we are headed with Presto Player. So we have this new version. The next version after this is going to bring that playlist experience. And then after that, we have some user interface overhaul for our settings panels uh, all planned out. And so that's the plan that we have for Presto Player. And I just want to ask you right now, I'll have a link in the video description that will take you to where you can download this new beta version. I'd like to ask you to try it on your web site and let us know if you have any issues. We don't anticipate issues, but since this is a major version, we just want to be on the safe side and uh, ask our users to give it a shot and let us know how it goes. But we couldn't be more excited about the future of Presto Player and the plans that we have for it. We've been working on this for the last eight months, and we're excited to finally have this new version here for you.